Hello, welcome back to Brado's Blockbusters. I'm Michael Brado. I'm Jeremy Alves. And this is our review of the 1988 Tim Burton film, Beetlejuice. Directed by Tim Burton, written by Michael McDowell and Warren Scarin, it's a horror fantasy comedy. It's an hour and 32 minutes long, rated PG. Now, I find the PG rating funny, considering the use of language and yeah. subject uh, material. Um, but... I'm not the MPA. Even PG-13 was invented, but, yeah. you know... <laughs> it's definitely a PG-13 thing. But, you know, I'm not the MPA. I can't talk about I'm going to show today. this to my kids. <laughs> uh, it's available on Vudu, Apple TV, Prime Video, and Fandango. Had a budget of $15 million and earned $73,887,506 worldwide, making it a box office hit. Yeah. So here I have the scores, as usual, from Rotten Tomatoes, IMDb, and Metacritic. Um, the, on the tomato meter, it has an 84%. Definitely yeah, that was good. deserving. Uh, the user score is 82%. Again, very deserving of a, of a high score. It's a good film. It's got its flaws, as any film does. But um, IMDb gives it a 7.5, and Metacritic gives them a 70 Nice. It's all so, good. All good scores, yeah. Um, all above 60s, you know. Yeah. What? So, I say, you want to talk about any award? The movie might have been nominated or won? Sure. The Juice was only nominated for one Academy Award for Best Make. And it won. The only one, the only one it was nominated for, and it won. You know what? Makes sense. The makeup work is it was exceptional. Great. It was great. It definitely deserved a cap. And then it was nominated for eight, eight Saturn Award for Best Horror for Supporting Actress for Best Makeup Supporting Actor for Michael. Best Director, Best Writing, Best Music, and Best Special. Which, out of all the eight nominations, only one three, which is Best Horror Film, Best Supporting Actress, again, Sylvia, which she did a good job. And then it also won for Best Makeup again. <laughs> But I'm a little disappointed. Michael Keaton, best supporting actor. Well, you know, ever everyone's got their own stuff. You know, he he does a good job. Yeah. And despite being the title character, only being fifteen Four minutes, minutes in total. Yeah, that's like, you know, he does a good job when he's on screen. Oh, he does. But he's not on screen a lot. Much. Hopefully, in the sequel, he will actually. Uh, what I don't even know what sequel. Whenever they make that sequel. If they make that <laughs> sequel, if Tim Burton's still on board. <laughs> Anyway, so, do you want to go over the plot? Actually, I was thinking since we have a guest, she could read the plot for us. Ooh. After Barbara Green Dave Davis and Adam Maitland out Baldwin die in a car accident, they find themselves stuck hunting their country and they able to leave the house when the aunts Catherine O'Hara, Jeffrey Jr., daughter Lydia, went on a rider. By the home, Maitland's attempt to tear them away was success the efforts a tiny bit rambitious spirit. Rambunctious. Rambunctious quickly become dangerous for the Maitlands. Clack, clack, applause, applause. Applause, applause, applause. Yes. Elephant applause. Oh, no. <laughs> um, but all three of us have seen this film before. Yeah, I have. Um, and it's definitely up there as one of the better films that we've watched. We've done. Well, now that I think about it, I think Beetlejuice have ever done so far... Out of, out of the ten that we've done, I'd say this is one of the most recognizable. Yeah. Even more so, say... Oh, I think our top, I think, is our all the timber we need, Ed and Bruce. Yeah. In my opinion. Movie-wise. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Good timber and did Pee-wee's Big Adventure in 85. He got so many, like, his butt. They said the scripts he always got lacked imagination. Originality, right? right? But then he got Beetlejuice. He couldn't have done a better. No, he could not. He probably one of his best movies for and, sure. Yeah, and we mentioned it when we did the Ed Wood trap. But this movie is actually how uh, production designer Bo Welch and Catherine O'Hara met yeah. and began dating, and, and they got married. Yeah. And then he directed the Cat in the Hat. <laughs> but he he reunited with the boss baby himself, Alec Baldwin. And yeah. I keep saying Ed Wood instead of Cat in the Hat. I'm sorry. Like, um, I, I don't know. I'm okay. I'm thinking Tim Burton, so I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, but the this movie has an exceptional cast. 
um, all well-known actors and actresses. Uh, we've got the mom from Home Alone. We've got the <laughs> boss baby. Alec Baldwin. Yeah, we've got Batman. Michael Keaton. <laughs> or Birdman. Yeah. Or Mr. Mom. Yes. He's the mom. We've got the uh, the principal from Fair from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Wait. Jeffrey Jones. Oh yeah, Jeffrey Jones. Yeah. Duh. He's in a lot of stuff, Doc. Um. So speaking of actors and actresses, would we like to start going over the list? Sure. With not our show stealer, I guess the boss baby. I guess we'll start with the first person we get introduced to. Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. Yeah, for once, he's not mad in this movie. I know, right? He's not a, but he d- a he dickhead. Does, he does get a little angry. Oh, but he's not a dickhead. No, he's not a dickhead. Like, but, yeah. But, you know, I don't even think we have to mention him. We he, did it in the cat bat. Yeah, he's a he's just a very well-known actor. He just gets pissed off a lot and gets to receive. Yeah. He does have three famous brothers, too. Mm. The the four Baldwin, bro- or Baldwin brothers. If, do you think if they ever make a Beatles, they'll come back? Maybe. Maybe. What about Boss Baby? Too? That's already in the work. Yeah, I know. I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> That's why I'm saying. Um, but he did good in this. Yeah, he, he did. did. Like I said, he didn't get mad. This isn't one of his favorite movies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Strangely I enough. I read that. But it's definitely one of his better performances that I've seen, at least. Yeah. But he still did good. Yeah, no, Go he does. Him. He does. Uh, so moving on Let's go to Barbara Barbara Maitland played by Gina Davis she did great in this she did Ma- Mikhail do you have any opinions to put in on Alec Baldwin or Gina Davis they did they did yeah. so Gina Davis she's in a Tootsie the Fly remake Thelma St- and Louise Stuart Little and Stuart Little too yeah A League of Their Own um A Long Kiss Goodnight he- Stuart Little 3 it- oh my god she did Oh my god, she did all the stupid films back to back to back. Michael. And the third one's animated. Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, she was also in Accidents Happen, Me, Him, and Her, when Marnie was there. I guess when you remind me of Gina, I, I do know her for this. When I think of Gina Davis, this is the first film that comes to mind. Yeah, this. Just Beetlejuice. Because it's like the it's the one movie I, I think I've actually watched that. She, um, but I say move on, to Mr. Yeah, Jeffrey Jones, Jones, who again we we've, we've talked a lot about him. Wolfenwood. Yeah, during the Ed Wood track. Even though he had a very small man. Well, yes, but we still mentioned him. Yeah, um, he was Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I mentioned. Yeah, Howard the Duck. Oh, Howard yeah. the Duck. Sleepy Hollow. Oh, the Hunt for Red October. So yeah. him and Alec Baldwin were both in the for Red October. So they've worked together. With Sean Connery yeah. was in that. He was also with Stuart Little. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, I swear, all these actors connect. Yeah. He worked with Alec. He worked. Um, he worked with Burton again. He was in Doctor Doolittle with Eddie Murphy. No, Doctor Doolittle too. My. How high? <laughs> Yeah. He was in How High with, um, his name, Red Man. Yeah. Um, yeah, but he did good in this. He, he, did, he did really good. You can tell that he he, he portrays the not wanting the gentrification mm-hmm. of this subtle country house. Yeah. He's so against it, but at the same time, you can tell he loves yeah. his wife and is willing to let her do it. Yeah. But, and... Uh, but let's talk about the one yeah, move, who does want it. Moving on to the wife. a lot of her art here. Catherine O'Hara. The mom? 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 From Home Alone. Home Alone 2. Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, she, she was, was in Nightmare Before Christmas? Yeah, she was... Oh, she was um, Sally. Yeah. Really? I did not know that. Oh. She was also in... Dick- she was in the new Addams Family movie. No. She was in Penelope she Over the Hedge. She was in Chicken Little. <laughs> Chicken Little. This guy as well. She was in Monster House. Over the Hedge. Yeah. She was. Oh, she did a lot of an- good animation. Frank and Weenie. So she reunited with Timber. Point two. Speaking of sex. What? Oh, that's the movie. That's the. Yeah, that's <laughs> I was about to say like, wait a minute, wait. Uh, Extinct is a movie that was supposed to come out this year. Oh, uh, I wonder why. It- I don't know. Oh, is it again? Yeah, it's animated. Yeah. Being Canadian. So she does a lot of animated now. Yeah. But I, st- she's still good in her anime. You know, she is. I realize that she has very small roles now. I think she was in uh, Lemony Snicket's uh, series of unfortunate events. Carrie. Yeah, that was just yeah. Carrie. Yeah. 
Uh, she also, I don't know, but she is also one of the um, main. One, she's one of the main characters on Schitt's Creek. That's Dustin. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Um, she was on Skylanders Academy, mm-hmm. Glenn Martin DDS. And more. Oh, I remember that show. Yeah. That was. A, my God. And Pippi Longstocking. Pippi Longstocking. Yep. Wow. But you know. And in my opinion, she, she still looks good for her age. She looks extremely good for her age. Great blonde hair. Mm-hmm. Blonde hair, don't care. You know? Yeah. She, um, she's still doing... She's still working. Yeah. Ever since she lost Kevin, she's still... Um, <laughs> Kevin! You know what it would warm my heart? She and Macaulay Culkin? Yeah. Like, my heart would just melt. Uh, but he'd have to be wearing his picture red sweater. Yeah, yeah. I want them to recreate the scene where she tells him to go up to the attic, and he says, I'm living alone. No, that would I feel be fantastic. Like, no. You know how uh, uh, Macaulay... Sorry to get off topic, but you know, uh, remember Macaulay Culkin made those, um, he technically reprised his role. He reprised his role as Kevin for the Google commercial. Yeah. yeah. They should, Catherine O'Hara and Macaulay Culkin should do, an, uh, do a commercial together, like another Home Alone yeah. spoof, but whatever it is, just make it like the Google commercial. I have an idea for that. What? Actually, what? I feel like it, could be, it could be funny, because mm-hmm. it could be like, she left again, Yeah. and she realizes that she and then they use the the Google um, the Google Home screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they like meet. They do a Google meet. Her. And so like she can see that he's fine. You know, what? I um, think that would be a you know, fun idea. You know who Josh Gad, right? Yeah. You see, you've seen the videos he's been doing on YouTube lately. Um, they all been he's been getting cast of moving, getting together on. Um, yeah. 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 He should do Home Alone. He Josh should. Gad should do Home. Alone. He should. Um, but oh, we won really all far with Captain O'Hara. Yeah, but, you know, she... She she did great. She's a very well-known actress. She, she She's very well-versed. She's very... She's just a very good actress. Um, and you... I, I love Delia as a character. Like, I hate she's her, very but I love her. Though. She is. She very is. Very fashionable. Fucking glove on her head. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's now but go to our But if own. we want to move on to the daughter... I guess our main girl. Our, our, yeah, I'd say our main. Not our Gina Davis. But um, Winona Ryder. Yeah, Winona Ryder. Another recognizable. Famous for Beetlejuice, Edward Scissorhands, Heather's Another Stranger Tim Things. Another movie, Edward Scissorhands. Bram Stoker's Dracula. Black Little, Swan. Little Woman. Alien Resurrection. Crucible. The Age of Innocence. Zoolan- oh, she played herself in Zoolander. <laughs> Mr. Deeds with Adam Sandler. She was on Friends. Frank and Weenie again with Tim Burton. Yeah. Also, she reunited with not well. Actually, the, the cast don't really reunite with animators because they have to do their races. Right. Yeah. But her and Catherine O'Hara were both in Frankie, mm-hmm. so that's a nice little reunion. Sex and Death One Hundred and One. You mentioned Stranger Things, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. She was on. She's on The Simpsons. The Simps. No. Boom 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 ba da boom boom ba da da ba da 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 da. Uh, you're not really inputting much. How do you feel about all these actors and actresses as people or actors? However, yeah, we'd just like to get some input from you, seeing as you're our, our guest. I feel like that goes for a lot of uh, people. A lot of people and a lot of celebrities. You're just excited to meet someone um, like um, that. Yeah. Um, before we go to our main man, do the one that actually won an award for this. <laughs> yeah. Sylvia Sidney. And she died on my bank. Oh. Oh, God. That's unfortunate. I'm trying to find her. Oh, there's her filmography. Oh, she was in, she was in silent films. So. She was in Mars Attacks. The no, best she, Tim Burton. No, she was. Wait, was she actually? Yeah. No way. Hold on. I'm just looking through um other things before I actually see if she was in Mars Attacks, another Tim movie. Yeah. Uh, she was oh, in uh, Damien Omen 2. I was two. just about to say that. Yeah. The Omen 2. Um, God Told Me 2. Yeah, I can't really recognize her for anything. Then. <laughs> Mars Attack, which was her final film role. Oh. <laughs> what, wait, a, wait, what, a way, what a way to go out, though. What a way to end her career. Oh, she was in uh, Les Miserables in the 1952 version. What was it called? Les Miserables. Uh, the, 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 the musical. Miserable. Oh! Less Miserables? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Less Miserables. But she, I guess we don't know her. But yeah. she did great here. 
She did. She was, um... I love when she got angry at them. Yeah, she I was the neighbor, that. right? Huh? She was the neighbor? No, right? she was on the uh, um, their boss. Oh, she was the... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, it took me a second. I was, yeah. like, thinking. But. Yeah, that's the one who was in Mars Attacks. <laughs> Come on. Man, the best Tim Burton movie of all time. Mars Attacks. It's not Mars Attacks. <laughs> For God's sakes, it's not Mars Attacks. Can I just say... what? Wait, what... But be for real though, what is your favorite Tim Burton? Uh, probably Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice comes close. But my favorite would have to be probably Edward. That's also a really good film. Or Johnny Depp. Who we have not mentioned sexy yet. Sexy surpri- motherfucker. Who we have not mentioned yet, surprisingly. Surprisingly. Yeah. Talking about Tim Burton a while. Yeah. Um, anyways, moving on to no. our, our main man. The one who should have won an award. Michael Keaton. Mr. Mom. Oh. Birdman, Batman, Batman Returns, Beetlejuice, Spider-Man Homecoming. Yeah, he was in Homecoming. The Founder. He was in Jack Frost. Oh, the, the horror not, film? No, or not the, the horror family film. film. The, the, the family film. Not, oh. not, um, not the horror film. The family film. He was in Dumbo, the 2019 version. Oh, so you worked with him again. Yeah, no. So was Danny DeVito. Uh, yes. Yeah, Danny DeVito. Our main man, Danny DeVito. Oh, he was, uh, he was also in... um. Uh, Jackie Brown, you know. He was, he was uh... In, he played Chicks Hick, Chick Hicks in Cars. Nice! He was in Toy Story 3. Really? That yeah. was Michael Keaton. Wow. He was in the Robocop remake. He was in Minions. He was in Minions. I just said that, literally. No, I, I'm... That fucking... What? Birdman. <laughs> oh, I forgot. He was in uh, White Noise, Game 6, The Squeeze. Yeah. Clear history. He has a good Rummy too, though. Yeah. Beetlejuice 2. No. There's no Beetlejuice. When you Google him, it shows up. 2 shows up. Beetlejuice is yeah. not here. No. Not on his wiki, but on his Google. No Beetlejuice. Not yet. No. I'm waiting for it. Me too. Hopefully he will come back as Beetlejuice. Yes. And he did the, an amazing fucking job in this. Yep. i say it's probably his best performance. Right above Batman. Right above. Right. Michael Keaton. I think he's a really good actor. Um, um, obviously. Well, yeah, I mean, he's just... It's, it's insane how fucking fantastic he is. For only being in the movie... 14 minutes? For f- about 15 minutes, he's the most memorable part of the he film. He steals the whole show. He does. He is the show. He is. I have a um, limited edition pop set. Um... I got it at Hot Topic. It's Beetlejuice and the Dante's Inferno room. Yeah. It, it's right over there on my shelf. But it... Whatever it is. What? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so, like, the the fact that he's so marketable, mm-hmm. despite not really being in the movie yeah. much, it Michael Keaton just fucking steals the show. He does. It hands down the best character in the movie. I mean, at he, least, m- in my opinion. He is the title character at all. He is. I, I couldn't see anyone else playing. My and honestly, the movie. makeup on him really good. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, if you didn't know who Michael Keaton, if you knew who Michael Keaton, I doubt you would never, unless like you know you actually like, searched up on um, who played Beatles, but right. You can you can even recognize him in that makeup. It's you really can. it's really good. Well, which they won the Academy Award. There's for. a reason they won the Academy Award. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of makeup, that leads us into. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, so, Michaela, as our guest, would you like to give us the first topic to grade on? Makeup. Makeup. I guess makeup. Uh, we'll, s- we'll start. Too. We'll start right. with makeup. I think they should be two separate categories. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Makeup's an act. Definitely. They won the Academy Award for that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Michaela, how do you feel makeup? What would you give it? Yeah, the makeup work is fucking exceptional. It's it, it really accentuates the dead in everyone. Dead. Well, not the living. Character. You know. Yeah, what but I mean. they look good too. But yeah, that's no, the cost, living. That's costume. It's costume. Yeah. There's a lot of great on it. There's a lot. It, it, the the this movie is tech. It, it's a technical masterpiece in my opinion. It's a horror contest. Yeah. Not not that I'd be on. Not that scared. And but it's still like. Definitely a comedy. 
it it's not as bad as say um, Seed of Chucky. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's not as scary as maybe like Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. And then that that friends I was watching too. As scary as Edward's not not. I feel like it's a healthy in between Edward Scissorhands. This could be a kid's horror. Yeah, just, just other than the language. Yeah, yeah, this we could pass on. That's nice cool. fucking model. I think I would definitely. Yeah. Show it. I, I'd wait until my kids were at least. Yeah, maybe nine maybe, or yeah. ten. Yeah. yeah. But. Um. Listen, makeup's an A. Makeup's an A, definitely. Special effects. Special effects. Also an A. I'm giving that an A plus. Practical effects go a long fucking way with me. Yeah. All of the practical effects make up for the shitty green screen. Yeah, they do. They really do. And stop motion. You, the you, stop motion's really good. You look at that sandworm, and you forget that Alec Baldwin is on a shitty green screen. Yeah, even though it looks pretty, not really good. Yeah. I'm pretty sure back then. At, it, at it the time, fine. it looked good. I bet it looked fine. With with the technology we have today, obviously, that looks mm-hmm. a little lackluster. Yeah. But, you know, that's, that's to be expected with an older movie using technology that wasn't super readily available highly advanced um, so effects are an A plus on my book yeah me too uh, how about you Del? A plus what was your favorite effect in the entire movie the snake I like the snake so those are real the snake one is probably my you know I think that mine probably be the the office the the yeah. afterlife boss yeah that entire Area. That's produ- That's production. It design, is production though. design, but yeah. the the effects with like the um, the the smoke coming out of Juno's neck and all that kind of stuff. I, I appreciate all the little details like that. Which those were good. Yeah. Speaking of production design, I say, I say that's what we do next. By Bo Welch, and yeah. he deserves a name. He does. You he know, you so you almost forget he made the Cat in the Hat. Yeah, you forget he made. He but then again, he did. I have it in the Cat in the Hat note. He made other amazing productions. Yeah. Then that he has Produ- production he has, design is his strong suit. Yeah, he has four Academy Awards, or I think I don't forgot exactly that he's been nominated for four, but I forget. But he's been nominated for four Academy Awards for produ- his production design. So that shows he has talent. He does. Just not for direct. production design is definitely like a fucking that's A his, plus. That's his thing. Yeah. That that's where he belongs. That's what the, out of the director. Captain O'Hara. Man. Yeah. What do you think, Michaela? Like the the sets and everything are phenomenal. They really draw you into the Tim Burton world. That that is a hit perfect Tim world. Right yeah. There. Bo Welch definitely works well with Burton. They they have a similar aesthetic. I think he worked with them again. Oh, I'm sure he did. Yeah. I know he did the Men in Black movies. Um, All three of them. <laughs> acting. Oh, uh, act. I mean, everyone did a good job, especially Michael Keaton. Yeah. And I think. Okay, nothing Academy Award worthy. I hate doing. I'm probably gonna give the acting a beat. Not to say they act bad. They all act really good. They act great, but nothing. Again, not nothing worth talking about except Michael Keaton. Right. If we were just talking about Michael Keaton. That's a. Per- that's obviously an answer. Yeah. And everyone else, not as entertaining, but they all still do a good job. I'm thinking an A itself. Yeah. Without without the plus, yeah. because just as a whole, yeah. the acting is good. It's yeah. nothing to write home about. Yeah, that's other, what I mean. Other than that's maybe what like I mean. Yeah. Keaton, but it, it's still phenomenal acting. It's yeah. it's nothing as bad as something like um, so, Plan Nine from Outer Space. Okay. No, because the acting in in Tusk. Oh no 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 not Tusk. No. Oh, uh, but we're, we what do you think I was gonna say? Oh, you were gonna say something really bad. No. Like the. Oh, so it, yeah, it's we, 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 definitely way above the room. We don't talk about the room. Not until we review it. Oh god, I hate my nose, but still, <laughs> you made me watch Tusk. I don't think it could get any worse. Uh, how do you feel about acting? What would you give it? A to F. An A. An A. Best actor, hands down, Michael Keaton, right? Michael yep. Keaton Michael or the writer? Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. And the the fact that she's like seventeen, phenomenal. And that girl. Yeah, like, you know, I agree. She she can pull off the, a younger look in the. 
Yeah, she but played a teen again in Edwards so two yeah. years later. And another teen in Heathers. Yeah. Which Heather was the same year as though. Yeah. Um but she she's just also phenomenal. So yeah. a- acting as a whole definitely like an A without the plus for me. An A for you, right? And B. for you it's a B, yeah. yeah. Which you know ever everyone's got their own things to point out. Um yeah. anything else you're thinking of uh, grading them? I want to say the horror comedy. The horror and the comics. With, yeah. Okay. Where so so the the healthy mix. Um, I'm I'm gonna go with uh, with an A. So yeah. I, I I appreciate the the uh, physical humor. I appreciate the production humor. I appreciate the costume humor. I appreciate the all the people in the un, in the afterlife. How you can see how they died yeah. and how it's like accentuated. Uh, I really like that the guy who burned himself to death by smoking in bed mm-hmm. is just a charred skeleton, yeah. and he's still smoking. Yeah. You know, I, I appreciate a little shit like that, and it's fucking hilarious. And then there's the stuff where, like, they Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis open up their, their jaws and yeah. everything. It's fucking creepy, but it's, so, the, it, it's a healthy balance. Of horror and comedy. Yeah, so it's definitely like an A in my book. You just honestly said everything I kind of wanted to say. I really have nothing to say except it's in sleep. And you? Yeah. Yes. So the, the mix of the comedy and the horror for you, how, how do you feel about it as a whole? It's scary. Right. Well, I mean, then again, it is rated PG. It's kids' horror. Yeah. It, I think the movie has a... like the ice. Yes. So, I mean, I... Well, yeah. I mean, they, that was available back then. And it I, wasn't. Listen, we're not the MPA. I know. I, I just, <laughs> I, w- I wish I could contact them. And why I, did Beetlejuice get a PG? Can we change? Can we add no, the, I don't want to change to be 13, but I'm Can just I like, add the 13? <laughs> but just why is it PG? Yeah. So the mix of comedy and horror for you, that would be a B? Yeah. Like, uh, if you lose your life, they rate it like horror. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Um, so overall, as a, as a film, how do you feel about it? So, A to F, okay, A plus. Wow. wow. A plus for A plus Alec Baldwin. <laughs> wow. A for Alec Baldwin. <laughs> so, I would give this a B, but sadly, I love this film too much for not for Alec Baldwin. But for hey, it's Michael Keaton. Yeah, sure, <laughs> exactly. It's my hey, it's Michael Keaton. I'm also gonna give it an A plus. I'm thinking A plus one on writer. Oh, you for a writer? Yeah, for Michael Keaton, you know a writer. And who are you giving an A? For? Alec Baldwin. She wants Alec Baldwin. <laughs> no. She doesn't get a choice. <laughs> All right, you get Alec Baldwin. You get the worst human no, being. No, I get Catherine O'Hara. Yeah, hey, okay. it's hey, Kevin O'Hara! O'Hara. <laughs> um, yeah, that's like the loudest we've ever been. Yeah. That whole fucking thing. <laughs> I don't know why the mic's being so weird today. I'm gonna have to amplify this in After Effects. You're gonna have to like the mic after you do that. Yeah. Too. Find um, out what's wrong with it. So overall... Oh, I was just checking. <laughs> overall, the three of us are giving it an A. Yeah. Or A plus for me and Michaela, and you give it an A. I don't do pluses. Right. You don't do pluses. But, you know. Not a huge plus or minus. Listen, that, everyone's got their own, you know. Yeah, and I. But would. still, it's it's just a fucking good movie. It's a great movie. It's actually. A, it's, a, it's a great movie actually. It is. It is. Great. I think it's the second best film we've done. It it's definitely up there. Yeah. I can't wait to do the um do the July recap. Oh yeah. That, that's gonna be interesting. As much as I like the other three films we have planned for this month, I really love this movie. Mm-hmm. I feel like this movie may most likely come out on top. Yeah, but here's my problem. Uh, wait, next week movie. Right, so next week movie, that might be a problem. Number one's gonna have a fight between this and next week. It's gonna be, it's gonna yeah. be a little tough. Well, I, I we'll think I already happens. I think I already have my list planned out. Not for me because I still have to see one. Well, yeah, I know, but I I think I already have mine planned out on yeah. that. Yeah. Just because I've seen all of them before. Well, uh, yeah, the ones I have, the one I haven't seen, one we just had to add, forgot. Yeah, because I I fucked up. Um, I I planned ahead 
we have all our movies planned out till yeah. at least the next June. Yeah. Um, and so I went into my calendar and I looked yeah. and I was counting Thursdays because that's when we record. And I didn't realize that this month had five Thursdays and not four, so we had to add an extra film on. So the thumbnail for the recap looks kind of weird, uh, but, but you know. forget we had this Monday and Friday. You have to upload in Friday. Well, yeah, but. Did you ever think about that? I, I just look at recording dates. Oh, God. Okay. Um, but other than that, I, I feel like there's nothing much else to say on this movie other than no. it's fucking great. What? Probably. Tim Burton's best. Yeah, definitely one of Tim Burton's best. One of Michael Keaton's best. One of Alec Baldwin. One of everyone's best. Yeah, it's, so it's one of everyone's it's best. It's just a fucking phenomenal film, all around. So definitely deserve award. Yeah, should be more like costumes. Yeah, stuff. probably a Golden Globe for Michael Keaton. But then again, it's horror, so does it count? Yeah. Uh, 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 whatever. So, Michaela, as our special guest, do you have anything you'd like to to say before we wrap this up? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess not. Well, thank you for listening. <laughs> I'm Michael Bratto. I'm Jeremy Owls. Make sure to subscribe for more mm-hmm. if you enjoyed. Uh, leave your own opinions in the comments before below because I love reading them. Uh, like if you liked it. Share it with anyone who you think might. Michaela, thank you for joining us. Thanks. And we'll see you next time. Peace.